Talk. Jazz music is a staple in the South, and although New Orleans is considered the birthplace for this genre, we've got a handful of aspiring jazz artists right here in the Midlands that you need to know about. In the late 1950s, one of the first collegiate jazz bands was started at Newberry College. USC also offers curriculum for bachelor and master's degrees in jazz studies. And in the late 1970s, South Carolina State founded the South Carolina Jazz Hall of Fame that honors outstanding students and professional jazz artists. And now flash forward to today and some USC students will soon have more options for their jazz studies because the university is buying the Green Street United Methodist Church that sits right across from the school. News 19's Nate Stanley has more on how it will help the jazz students there. Tarps line the outside of the Green Street United Methodist Church on the corner of Assembly and Green Streets. According to the Dean of USC's Music School, inside is the future of the school's music program. I've been dreaming about this for, what, 15 years. The building was recently purchased by USC for $1.1 million. Harding says it will be turned into a learning center for jazz students. The vision, of course, is to make it a school of music functional space that will allow us to meet space demands that we have and the jazz program is going to move lock, stock and barrel over there. We're going to have a cafe in that basement uh, for evening um, um, entertainment, live music, small live music. Chris Phelps is currently a senior studying jazz at USC. He's excited to see the space being converted, especially after feeling cramped inside the current building. We can definitely use that space to fill it up with a lot of instruments and to be able to practice whenever we want to. Man. I'm super excited to be able to play there, super excited to uh, perform and practice there. Man. Lex McDonald was the pastor at Green Street from 2019 until this year. He says the church and school had a long relationship together, providing the space to the university for hosting events and concerts. Facing financial concerns, selling the building made sense. And the building had, had fallen into a little bit of disrepair. It, it really could not have been a more generous offer. Uh, the price that they offered was at market. McDonald notes the congregation will still have access to the building and the space will still hold services on Sunday. They're very excited about the building being fully renovated and available to them to use and uh, also still maintaining the, it'll have the pews still in place and the stained glass windows. Harding says the project is broken into two phases with the first one being completed in spring. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, Dean Harding adds that there will also be no tuition increase or fees charged to the students for the project.